hello everybody welcome to the cleaner cast this is the podcast where we check in with detailers detailing company brands today we got glove box on it's gonna be a good show who we got in the comments we got ryan fred who's on the show today humberto how y'all doing start dropping comments people and if you uh, you don't know we are officially a podcast you can find us on anchor spotify and apple Podcasts. i need you guys to go uh rate and review and subscribe on your uh, favorite platform and if you didn't know this month on my channel is a uh, stoner car care month with the cleaner it's a temporary code that's why i'm uh, promoting it on all platforms the cleaner 20 gets you 20 percent off over at stonercarcare.com Go check it out. I'm uh, doing all kind of little reviews, so stay tuned for more reviews. It expires July 1st, so go use that promo code. Twenty uh, percent off. Go try that glass coating; it's good stuff. Uh, Power clean. And since we got Glove Box on the show today, I have a promo code for them too. Use promo Jamie to save twenty percent off your first box. Heck of a deal. So, as you know, we have our Canadian cohort. Joining us today, Mr. Alex Dewar, Bucky VW. Bucky, what's happening? Hey, hey everybody. Happy Friday. Uh, what's uh, what's going on in we'll Canada this week? We have some sun. We have some wind. We've had some rain. Everything but snow. Kind of ironic, isn't it? But um, got the beautiful sounds of birds in Jamie's background. So yes. add a little uh, environmental <clears throat> to it. Ambiance. Um, Going to be a good show. You get the same ambiance on the podcast oh. as you do on my YouTube channel. Yep. Good stuff. Little so, ASMR stuff. Yep. You ready to bring on Brad and Fred? I am very ready. With the Love Box exciting. team. Got your uh, top 10 questions like old Rick mm-hmm. does on their, their cast ready. Yep. Yep. Shine your light detailing. How's it going? Yes. All right, everybody. Well, no further ado, let's get Fred and Brad from Glove Box on the show. Welcome them in, everybody. Hello, Brad. Hello, Fred. How y'all doing today? What's up, guys? Doing well. It's a little rainy. Hello, hello, hello. hello. It's good. <clears throat> yes, we have four people on today, so may get a little jumbly as we go to talk, but is what it is. That's how mm-hmm. this this uh this show rolls. <laughs> But Brad, you started off uh, Glove Box, so uh, actually, let's get a little intro from both of you real quick. Your positions with Glove Box and uh, that good stuff. We'll start with Brad. Sure. sure. Um, so, intro with Glove Box. I am one of the co-founders. Um, my job really is curating the monthly subscriptions and formulating the GBRX products and a whole bunch of other things um, that I try to help Fred with, but. So yeah, I'm the co-founder, and lucky you be with Fred, and who is not here with us, the other co-founder, Jason, um, who plays really the biggest role in our company, and just make sure that we are headed in the right direction. And Fred, um, let's see, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> Every I, uh, <laughs> I'm running customer service, so people that have issues or need help with their subscriptions or their accounts, I help with that. Um, I'm a main contact for all the influencers like you gentlemen. Yep. Um, I reach out to other vendors and manufacturers to talk to them about testing out products with Brad to see what we want to get in upcoming glove boxes. Um, I help market the website and work on the website. Um, let's see. There you go, people. I guess, I I guess that's... If Fred did anything, uh, he actually does some stuff. Oh, I, I do a little <laughs> bit. Fred's a bit of a goat. Yep. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but sure. the company didn't start with Fred, so we'll head on back over to Brad. He's gonna kick us off. So we got to know, Brad, what's the road to Glove Box look like? What were you doing before coming up with this uh, subscription service? Yeah, so I have uh, a detailing company that I started in 2007. Um, it was called A Luxury Detailing, and that's how old I am because I put the A in there because we used to have phone books. So I wanted to be the first. So it's called a larger yeah, detailing. Yeah. And then we rebranded over the years to, to one of one. Old to kind school of technique. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, so when I first started the detail company, we, you know, we're doing, you know, friends and family's cars, parking lot stuff, mobile stuff, dealership stuff, RVs, boats. 
anything I could do to keep the lights on. And then that grew into now what I'm doing is collection management and doing like detailing for Concours, Pebble Beach, Amelia, um, Quail and stuff like that. Um, but during that time, one of the collections I was at, I was cleaning some cars. My friend Jason stopped by, um, who um, is a, a veteran. So, well, thank you to him and any other veterans that's listening or will listen to this. We really appreciate you guys. More than um, we can. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And he came by one of the collections. I was cleaning a car and he's like, hey, man, you ever hear of this uh, subscription box? My wife gets some makeup, something comes every month. He's like, you should do that for car care cleaning products. I was like, I thought about it. I thought about it. I was like, I, I don't know anybody that's doing that. And then he came by the following week and I was doing a, a tech talk for um, Porsche Club of America. We we're talking about how to prep your paint for PPF and then what to do after the PPFs on there, how to maintain it. And he's like, man, we need to do this together. I, I can run the business. You can talk the detailing language to the people. Um, I think it'd be a good fit. So we just went for it. Um, that was the end of 2017. We went to SEMA, um, got to know some of the brands um, personally. And then our first box was out February of 2018. And we started with a lot of sample size stuff. And now we're doing the full size stuff and our own product line, GBRX. Awesome. Awesome. <clears throat> yeah. There's a, just a ton of these subscription services out there. You know, they got some from, uh, yep. you know, meats to anything you can think of pretty much. So coffee, myself, coffee, yeah. love box, you know, detail pop up. I was definitely like, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That's pretty cool. Pretty good idea. Yeah. My friend has one for cats. So cats. Yep. <laughs> yep. They got they, that, the, they, the they, they call them. Boxes. They called the meow box. Yeah, box. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah that's, i mean really you could do anything you know if there's a market for it anything so. yep someone there's probably a rock box you just get different rocks <laughs> i mean there's a yeah. there's a box for everything out there so i think the yep. just a genius idea and uh, i think y'all are is there more now like other kind of knockoffs or is both box still pretty much the only one you know there, there has been some in the past and, you know, a lot of people get it confused with like a mystery box or something like that. And when we started yeah. heading into this, um, Jason and I and Fred are very detail oriented people. And I was like, man, if I'm going to put my face behind this or my name or use clients cars and, you know, and all this and put it out there on the internet for people to look at, it has to be done right. So a mm -hmm. lot of subscription boxes are really overstock right like mm -hmm. let's move yeah, this right. out of our fulfillment center and let's just get it to anybody that's willing to throw some dollars every month i was like i do not want to do that um if we're going to throw some liquids in there though we have to have towels to complement those liquids um if we're going to throw some kind of interior cleaner it has to have the right tool to go with it the right brush but then also back mm -hmm. it up with if people like to read a step-by-step -step guide then if people don't like to read we do the youtube videos which i call suggestion videos um, so really, yes, to answer your question, there's a lot of subscription companies and boxes out there for everybody. Um, yeah. I think the reason we've made it so long and had such a great response is because I actually detail and I'm not just trying mm -hmm. to make money off people. I'm, we're actually trying yeah. to bring value to the detailer, weekend warrior and anybody that's into detailing. Yeah. For sure. Each box is thoroughly curated. You can tell, I mean, with all the packaging and, uh, the list that comes with it tells you what each product does and how to use them. I mean, it's a fantastic job y'all are doing over there. But uh, I guess, Fred, I guess we need to hear your story to Glove Box yeah. now. So <laughs> go um, at it. So I, I was into detailing 29 years ago and then did that until 2012. I took a break for a while. I mean, I cleaned my own cars and stuff, but I had my standard products that I was using. Got back into it in like 2018. Um, the beginning of 2020, I was just kept buying more stuff and looking into more new things and stumbled upon uh glove box. So I ordered a subscription and when it arrived, I noticed that it came from Chicago, which is where I live. So I reached out to, uh, their Facebook page on messenger message them. Hey, I really like the box. I'm local. I'm in marketing. If you guys need a hand, I'll, I'll trade products or boxes for marketing help kind of how it started um, and then 
next thing I know, I was helping with the website in like June or May, maybe it's been two years this month, um, May or June of 2020. Um, did like a website audit, helped build the blog out and did a bunch of stuff to kind of help out. And ever since then, I've slowly taken on more things to do to help the, the team here. Uh, which were a massive team of three people, which people <laughs> people don't get. There's only three of you us. Would, um, you would never guess. Uh, no. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like have been really trying to intertwine and help them because they, they've done this all on their own. Um, and I just want to be a, a good team player to help the brand go to where we want it to be. And I think, you know, we are a small company. We're a small team. But our number one thing is is customer service and and good yeah. good products for the end users and um, you know we really try hard not to just put out crap. So yeah. um, kind of like the the way the presentation of the boxes are, we want that to be mm -hmm. every month. We want it to be Christmas to someone's doorstep. Um, so that's kind of my journey so far. And like I said, I started out doing website work. Now I'm you know, helping with customer service and vendors and working with the influencers and things like that. So kind of have my hands on a lot of things now. Right. For sure. Yep. So there's Fred and Brad's journey that brought them together. So I want to go back yeah, I, to getting comp up. Oh, go to. Where yeah, I was just going to, uh, I was just going to say, and it kind of ties into the question too. Um, just what Brad mentioned was if the mystery box is kind of clearing out inventory. It's it's true. You know, you see a lot of different companies doing mystery boxes online and a lot of the, you know, Facebook groups or Instagram, whatever, people commenting, it's it's more negative things than positive. It's, hey, I bought this mystery box for a hundred bucks and I haven't got, you know, this kind of stuff. I'm not super jazzed, you know, whereas Globe Box, it's there's something nice to know about you know what you're getting and if you choose just to not do it you don't have to get it but you know it also makes an awesome gift for your friends and that kind of thing and it's you know there, there should be no disappointment you know exactly what you're getting every time and you know it's fun to try brands that you may never even heard of so we'll move on to the next question yeah and a lot of times those boxes are over delivering seems like every other month now yeah. i have a big box coming out so just killing it. But I want to go back to getting companies into the glove box. Uh, you talked about it a little bit. How hard was it to get some of these companies on board or kind of like once you got a big company on board, everybody started coming? How'd that go about? In the beginning, it was difficult because a lot of people put us under that category of just another subscription box that's just throwing anything in there. And they and I'm sure they probably felt that we wouldn't represent them properly. Um, mm -hmm. Now, nowadays, it's they're coming to us, which is great um, because, you know, a lot of these companies want to get <laughs> eyeballs on their brand and they want to, you know, have the right representation of it. And that's what we, we do for them, because, you know, when we when we reach out to these companies, you know, we we, ha we actually think it through like, OK, if we're going to do this maybe for someone like me that lives in the Midwest, maybe in those winter months, maybe we'll focus more towards waterless stuff or interior, even though our friends right. in Florida or Southern California get nice weather all the time. Mm. But we still have to think about the people in Canada and the Midwest and the upper States yep. um, just to make sure that they're yep. getting the full value, even in the winter months. So when we talk to these companies um, and, and say, Hey, would you like to be in a, a glove box? One of our highlight, one of your brands in this month. Um, those are the kind of things that we tell them so they feel comfortable with us um, representing them and then making making sure that we get enough traffic back to their site and their brand itself. Right. Yeah. So who, who are a couple of those early brands? Um, man, oh, man. <clears throat> Auto Fiber. Ian over at Auto, Auto Fiber. Fiber yep. was such a good dude from the beginning. The guys over at the Rag mm -hmm. Company just like made us feel yep. like family mm -hmm. since the beginning. Um, Jack Swax, um, Mothers, um, man, there's so many. Like, I don't want to Adam's even people. was early, right? Adam, yeah. McGuire's, yeah. There's, there, there's tons, and we have them listed on the yeah. site. Um, but that was one of the things, too, in the beginning, I was like, okay, 
so even though I'm like thinking, okay, can I use this on the lawn at Pebble Beach or something? I, I had to bring myself back. Okay, what was it like when you were first just doing, you know, volume work at a dealership or mom minivans or um, RVs or boats or all that stuff? So I'm like, okay, I can't forget about that because some of these products will work really well for that that I might not use on the lawn at Pebble Beach, right? So I kind of had to just not forget where I came from and just realize that, you know, some people just want to use this stuff in their garage um, on their daily drivers. But will this also work well for the car show that they're going to bring their beloved vehicle to? Good points, good points. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're, we're always, not to go backwards, but we're always reaching out to new brands. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we 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 are in tons of groups, Facebook groups, and other you know, Instagram groups, and you know, we hear everything that people are using. So we we do reach out to a lot of companies. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it doesn't work out. Sometimes they don't have the inventory we need, or we just can't make a deal, uh, or it takes yeah. two years for them to do something with <laughs> us. Like that's all happened. Like it's it's been. Each, each brand's a different story. Some brands are, you know, they bend over backwards to help us. Um, and, you know, it's just a mixed bag. So we're constantly yeah. looking for new stuff and trying new things. And a lot of times it doesn't meet our expectations. Not that the product is bad, but maybe yeah. there's a hang up in the service that we don't want our subscribers to have to worry about an issue if they go back to that company for something mm -hmm. like um, you know, customer service. Like I said, it's our biggest thing. We want it to be big for that vendor as well, for that manufacturer. So uh, we don't just put anything in there. We get mm -hmm. we get some of the more marketed brands hitting us up all the time, but we right. we want to make sure that it's a quality product that does what it's going to yeah. say as well, not just fluff. So there's a lot behind the mm -hmm. scenes that happens that you know we just keep talking to new folks and, and trying to get new brands and new things to try. Like um, I'm trying to remember recently, one of the brands that we, we use that, um, oh, like detail firm last summer, like nobody really knew who they were. And then we yeah. dropped them in a couple boxes and it like blew people's minds. Like, how did we not know about these guys? Well, they're a new brand. Well, that's, you know, that's yeah. why, but, um, and then, Wizards has been a partner, Brad, for a long time. A lot of people don't know Wizards. Oh, yeah. Wizards, yeah. Mostly no. body shops know Wizards. I knew Wizards because it was big in the hot rod game. That's where I used to detail with show cars and hot rods. Um, so, like, you know, we try to connect people with things that maybe they wouldn't normally buy or see. Um, mm -hmm. Fab tells me that all the time. Like, oh my gosh, I would have maybe never bought that product or tried it, but you guys really helped me with that. So, right. And that's what we try to do. And Brad's always good about trying to pair things together that work well together or are really yeah. thought out. Um, yeah, that's another uh, thing into the process is the curation. Like like you said, just three man team. Like I know what it's like to get you know companies sending me all kind of products, but it can't even be on the level that y'all are receiving products at. So how in the world are y'all finding the time to <laughs> use every product, figure it out, figure out which one goes with what? Yeah, we got three or four more it's this crazy. week that you got to go through brands, not just products. Like we have three, right. three or four brands, you know, sent us a huge box of stuff. So like I'll I'll use some of it. Sometimes we split up the the bottles into separate bottles so we can each test it for a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. Brad uses it, of course, mostly. Um, so we we try to do as much as we can. Sometimes yeah. we have to push companies back a little bit. Like we like your stuff, we just need some time. You know, like we're we're already looking into the end of summer, beginning of fall now for what's lined up. Um, nice. So that's the other thing we need to coordinate and be ahead, so we don't mm -hmm. run into supply mm -hmm. issues. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. With a lot of the, the bigger brands, it takes a little bit longer because you have to go through, you know, marketing team and, you know, higher ups have to do all that stuff, which, which is great. We want those bigger brands. Um, yeah. And we want to highlight them in the sure. box, but at the same time, you know, these newer brands, I, I love working with them because they bring the mm -hmm. energy, you know, they just have yeah. that hustle. Yeah. They're new. And I'm just like, yes, let's go. And yeah. there's, there's been, <laughs> yeah, there's been, over a handful of companies I just said no to, and I will never call them out. I just 
if we're going to send our subscribers and the glove box family to them, mm -hmm. we need them to be, have great customer service like us. We need mm -hmm. them to really have knowledge about the product that they're selling and putting in the market and not just something that they threw a label on. Um, yeah. So we all behind the scenes, we do that. We just never are going to be somebody to call those companies out because mm -hmm. it's just not worth my time. We have so much focus moving forward. Um, but yes, there is uh, people always ask me all the time, like, do you just accept everybody? Cause you could fill the next month and definitely <laughs> no, not. Definitely, <laughs> definitely not. not. Yep. That's good to hear. Uh, and yeah, the Ryan mentioned the turtle wax takeover box. That's been a trend. Uh, the turtle wax one was great with the t-shirts yeah. and the hat and the paste wax was amazing. And all that had just came out. So that, yeah, took so that was a lot of coordinating on, on Brad's yeah. part. Like he had planned that for probably four months with them, five months with turtle wax. Nice. Um, nice. And then like the takeover box, if anyone's subscribing this year, they know the theme, like every month has pretty much been a takeover. So uh, no oh, hints yeah. or, or, <laughs> no uh you know secret sauce but you might get mm -hmm. more of those this this year so nice, nice. maybe even this coming month um but that's been a fun thing the subscribers have really liked when we pair up one brand in a box yeah yeah i think that's pretty pretty cool because then you really get a good selection from the one brand you get to yep. try them out really good you can see how things work together you know like it's it's really cool to do it yep yeah i think it's it's cool too with but that, because like you mentioned, yeah, there's no point just throwing anything that they throw at you because, you know, obviously you guys vet the products that are sent. But I think it's also neat that if a company is small and kind of up and coming and don't have a dedicated marketing person, not a lot of background, if they're more passionate about the product and then they can leverage your service to get it out there and then you really help them, then it builds a lasting relationship, not just with you guys, but also your subscribers. So then it just kind of spreads like wildfire. So it's, I think it's a good opportunity for not just the smaller brands, but also the bigger brands, you know, again, like say with lizards, I mean, I know I had seen it, but you know, they don't have, you know, from what I've seen at least a big social media presence, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. If they have their niche market and what they've been doing works great, but you know, to branch out and do another thing and then have a whole different social media side of things be seen, I think that's fantastic for whoever you are. Yeah. Um, yeah. Big to small, it could help out a company. Big yeah. And, and we try to constantly evolve how we help that company. So like the, yeah. the insert cards that go in each box have evolved mm -hmm. greatly since I started. Um, it's a little thing, but we've constantly trying to make them better. So having those promotional codes on there to drive more sales to that brand, like that's a, a big thing for those brands. Um, yep. We've had yep. some that Absolutely. had to get turned off because they fortunately got used too many times. Um, <laughs> nice. Wow. So, you know, we, we really do want to build that long-term partnership and relationship with, with these companies. Mm -hmm. um, I, I can only think of a, a couple brands that have, you know, been a, a one, one time shot kind of thing just because of customer service issues. You know what I mean? Sure. Um, the rest we constantly talk to you like um, and try to stay in front of and, try to work with them on new things maybe they have coming out, we'd be a good launch pad for that. Um, or anything yeah. around SEMA that we can help with. Like we're always trying to talk to them to help them engage the market because we uh, send boxes out every month to, you know, several doorsteps and, and Texas yeah. TV is asking how many doorsteps do we send to? I don't know if Brad wants to answer <laughs> that. But... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. And it's um, like this, just... like it's, it's constantly changing. And then, you know, like, yeah. And to go back on what kind of what, what Fred was talking about, um, the, a lot of these companies, even if they put out videos or talk about their products, everybody expects for them to say how great their product is. But when they have someone like you, Alex, or you, Jamie, or Glovebox, that's, you know, kind of on the outside, but representing them then people really start to listen and start to watch because yeah. you're not physically on the team, but you're still mm -hmm. endorsing them. So they need people like you guys, they need people like yeah. us. So it's just, it's just a good benefit for them to have good relationship with you guys and us. Absolutely. Yeah. I think 
companies underestimate how uh, you know a good customer experience goes. You can have the best products in the world, but if that customer service ain't good, if you're you know rude on social media, not gonna yeah. say no names, but that can, that can that's not a good look. Yeah, and we, we I mean, look. just like anyone else, sometimes we feel like we need to get into it with people just because mm -hmm. of your ego, you know, like you, you work so hard at something and you got people jamming at you about something, but we still, we just don't do it because it's not worth it. Um, yeah. And we've had, this month was rough. We had a, a lot of leaky bottles in, in the, the May box, um, which is not fun for us because we, we lose out on shipping. We have to replace bottles that is no cost yeah. to the customer. I have someone yeah. that's in the chat right now, Mr. Papa Smurf. He's on his fourth box. I've had to resend him this month. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, and we just keep sending them. We got paid for one, but we've sent mm -hmm. four. Yep. So, like, yep. we bend over you backwards. You got to do it, though. You know? yeah, yeah, we you bend over backwards, it. and we do whatever we can to, <clears throat> to make it right for them and make everyone happy. And, you know, like, um, we've been accused of being a big business, and, you know, really there's three of us. Yeah. Um, we don't, we don't make any money. <laughs> oh, you know, we're doing this cause we, we want to see this company grow and, and we, we love the, the industry and the space and we want to see our, our brand and our, our subscription keep, keep growing and, you know, and eventually maybe down the road, we'll have all the benefits and the, the love of it, but we do whatever we can to keep people happy. And there's sometimes you just can't like, you know, we, we had one guy, cancel this month because the bottle spilled um even though we sent them another one so there's yeah. there's going to be people you can't make happy but we do whatever mm -hmm. we can to make that um uh, not be the case i guess uh, well and i mean you guys could easily just say hey talk to the shipping company sorry yeah and that's know. i mean and, that's and i'm sure there's brands yeah. out there that kind of take that approach but uh yeah and we, it, we do have our limited of, yeah we do have limited uh, reach on what happens once it leaves yeah. our shipper, um, mm -hmm, you know, yeah. like FedEx picks it up or UPS and, you know, we're Especially limited on what we can do. The holiday months. I mean, stuff's yeah. just getting thrown around and thrown around or like in the winter it freezes. Um, yeah, you yeah, don't probably yeah. have to worry about that Jamie as much, but no. like it, <laughs> um, but like <laughs> us in the Midwest or even, uh, you know, I sent a glove box once to Rick and the oh, yeah. CS3 froze solid, you know, it was kind of mm -hmm. ruined. Um, so yeah. like, we just, we just deal with it and there's, you know, like we, we, it, it would be easy for us to say, well, it's in FedEx's hands. Good luck. You know, we, but we yeah. don't do that. You know what I mean? Like exactly. it is honestly out of our hands, but we don't let it go yeah. that way. We, we step up and, and do whatever we can to make it right. So, mm -hmm. um, for sure. I think it goes a long way. So well, doing it the yeah, right way. we appreciate it. Not doing that. I mean, you can get one keyboard warrior to make a bad review or just kind of go off on different social media channels it's like, yeah. it can have yeah. a, like a, a minor Wait, we, uh, <laughs> but it can be like a minor someone's like minor inconvenience can just blow up you know and it's it's yeah, annoying we, it happens we had that long. happen on a influencer video somebody complained about my response to customer service we we right. did the the January glove box was all Adams, their Christmas box. Mm -hmm. We yep. couldn't get any more. We bought every last one. They allotted every last one they had for us. Yep. And I yep. responded that we'll make it right. I just can't get it. He wanted his uh, one detail spray leaked out maybe two ounces, but he wanted the whole box replaced. Yeah. And I'm like, it happens. I can't get you a whole box, but I, they they do have a handful left of that one product or I'll send you my right. own, like, you know. And right. he went on saying that I wasn't going to help. And I'm like, no, I just said I couldn't replace the whole box because they don't exist. I could help you replace that bottle, um, you know, but some people you're just not going to make happy. So, yeah, exactly. So did, uh, did you take like the, you know, the leaky bottles, do you take that back to the company and present them, you know, kind of what happened? And uh, sometimes, like, how do they take that? They, yeah, sometimes like, that's that, just what happens, they help so. out. Um, sometimes we don't bother them with it. Sometimes it just depends who the brand is and how bad of a hit it is. Um, we well, have like, one company that blatantly like the told sprayers us, are so bad that you yeah. know, you can't like, there's just a mass, you know, all the sprayers are showing up broke. Then there's a problem, you know, maybe I should yeah. 
work on changing those sprayers out or yeah and we're, we're evolving like different we, we pack things differently or like we you know we try things um sometimes right. we we get the products and we don't have the time to like pivot and say hey we need we need caps with this or you know like yeah. we you know mm -hmm. like sometimes there's nothing we can do sure um brad's had experiences the past i think before i started they had a wheel cleaner that leaked um and you know they they worked through it but I, I don't really remember how that worked out but no matter what at the end of the day like the subscribers got taken care of uh last sure. year we had a glass cleaner leak and unfortunately that that was a lot um and we we did what we can and that brand really stepped up to make it right so they they were solid when it came to that so it just depends who you're working with uh or right. a time of year like a lot of companies don't want to deal with the the freezing you know like and that's one yep, upside yep. why we made glove box rx we don't have to worry about freezing products yep. so well, that's what we're bringing yeah. up right now oh, let's get to go. the brad's baby Perfect curated segment. products glove box rx so how did this come about and uh yeah let's, let's start there how did this come about brad again props to jason um he is the the idea guy he said um he's seen it in household cleaning yeah. And he's like, why is this not in the, the automotive detailing world mm -hmm. or the marina detailing world or the RVs or anything like that? I was like, I have no idea, but let's do it. And then again, we just started thinking about, you know, kind of work backwards. What, what's the overall outcome of what we want to do here and kind of figure out the things in between to make this happen. And, you know, one of the first things I thought about was are other brands going to be upset with us? about doing this, you know, like we're here to represent all these brands. And then now we're putting out our own brand. And it, I was pretty clear with, with any of them that had questions like, Hey, no, we're still going to represent you. My goal always is to give the end user something to try to see if it works for them because mm -hmm. people could watch YouTube. They could watch all this stuff. They can form their own opinions, but until you actually try it yourself in the, the climate you're in or the cars you work on or however you do things, it doesn't mean anything, right? So I told them like, hey, this is just another vessel for us to let um, our subscribers try to see it works well for them. Um, and yep. then, I, then I would then I tell them, it's kind of jumping forward a little bit, like, hey, mm -hmm. we would be super selfish to keep this to ourselves. Um, we were lucky enough because of Jason again to, to secure the partnership with the international patent for this. So no one else could really do it, but we're not gonna just mm -hmm. hold it to ourselves. Like if yeah. other brands do want to do that, and that's going to be a, a more of our push SEMA this year, we are, we are more than welcome to help them do this, make this system theirs and put their formulations in it. Because um, I'll just go through like the pain points of what, like what this solved for us. So for one, for me, when I do travel a lot for detailing, um, it's very hard to bring product with you. You got to figure mm -hmm. out a way to ship it. You got to, you got to do at one time, not even kidding. There was no rubber gloves involved, but I did get stopped because <laughs> I had all these ceramic coating bottles with no labels on them. Cause I was formulating my own ceramic coating and the TSA or whoever is like, well, dude, what is this? You know, yeah. I had to explain to them. But so my first thing was like, man, if I can make detailing products easier to travel with or to mm -hmm. end up in my car show bag, check number mm -hmm. one. Great. Then Fred brought up the freezing thing. I was like, okay, check number two. These won't freeze. It's a concentrated form. Yep. Then we talked about the shipping issues. Okay. Yep. I mean, no all leak. the issues we've been laying out. Yeah. yeah. It just you know, checked all the boxes. You're checking like, I was the boxes. Trying, I was trying so hard to find something that this didn't fix. This didn't solve, solve mm -hmm. a problem to. Mm -hmm. um, and then... You know, I wasn't going to put out any anything out there that didn't work really well that I wouldn't use on a, a vehicle at a show or my, my wife's vehicle. So yeah. that formulation process, it, I learned a lot. It was fun. I think our chemists are super, they love me and they hate me because I'm so picky, but <laughs> Yeah, it just had to, it, it's just part of the process. Mm -hmm. And even before the formulation, the process of molding the bottles Mm -hmm. we, yep. we could have chose a bottle that would have worked because the necks on these are different. They're wider to fit the cartridge. And so the cartridge is fun. Right. We could have chose mm -hmm. a different bottle, but we were like, okay, well, here we go again down the rabbit hole of doing things our way and doing something different. So we went down the whole mold process and 
and then, you know, there's COVID and all that stuff and everybody's talking about plastic and we tried not to listen to that mm-hmm. and just kept marching forward. And yeah. So, yeah, that was like kind of a long answer, but I get super pumped when we start talking about uh, GBRX here. Well, and kind of back yeah. to your point about working with other brands, like we would love, I'm just going to use an example, PNS or whoever to use our, our system because of the savings in plastic. Mm, yeah. um, plastics based on petroleum products. Well, we all know how much gas is right now. So yeah, if you're not spending all that money and in, in waste on plastic bottles, you can just do the refill cartridges. Um, our, our manufacturing lab said that we're, we're saving 75 to 87% in plastic by using the yep. cartridge system. Um, mm-hmm. You know, depending on how many people use and, and whatnot, based on the size of the bottle and blah, 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 you know, like all that stuff. Um, so we want to make an impact in the in the industry. So you you, you mm-hmm. think of how big storing a, a 16 ounce bottle is or yeah. a gallon, and you got these cartridges that take up no space at all. Um, and you know we've gotten pushback. Well, I could buy a gallon for this cheap. Well, I'm a every day, I'm not an everyday detailer. I'm a you know weekend warrior in the summer. Yeah on my own cars. I don't detail for other people. Like I don't need a gallon. I've had a gallon of Meguiar's um, professional line glass cleaner now for three years. I've maybe, <laughs> I've maybe yeah. used, you know, enough for three yeah. 16 ounce bottles of it. And now it just sits there and it's like pointless for me. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't need that much. The only thing I really use a lot of that I could buy a gallon of is, you know, APC or maybe a decon or something like that. Yeah. But the rest of it, I personally don't use that much. Uh, and then for a mobile guy or like a, uh, you know, people are like, well, I'm a professional. Well, it depends what kind of professional you are too. Brad's mm-hmm. a professional. He details high end car collections and he goes all over the, the planet to do it. And like he's saying for transportation purposes or, mm-hmm. you know, being he can show up with mobile in his way, you know, like it's perfect yeah. for him. He can't carry mm-hmm. a gallon of something with him on a plane. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And then so like the guy that maybe yeah, the guy the starting the out, town. maybe he's got like a, a little Toyota Camry with a little trunk. You know how many, I mean, you could put a lot of product in there based on our, our system compared to maybe gallons and crates filled with stuff. So, you know, you got to kind of look at the whole market and not just certain people. Uh, and we're yeah. really hoping that we can make an impact with, with other brands. Like Brad was saying, it's not just for us. It's we're hoping to change the industry with, you know, little things here and there. Yeah. But also for like the, with dealerships and volume work. And, you know, when I, when I kind of look from behind the scenes at, you know, um, detail shops that are doing a lot of vehicles, you know, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm kind of watching when, when their employees are filling bottles and, you know, even though they might be doing the dilution ratio properly or spilling or wasting yeah. product, when you think about there's still a, a couple ounces left in that bottle where the um, sprayer is not getting to. So if you're diluting yeah. off of 16, 24 ounce bottle, it's really not the correct dilution because you still have some in there. So I was trying to mm-hmm. solve that as well with this and just make it a lot easier for one for shops to be able to c- control their inventory and their, and their overhead and know what they're using and just to simplify mm-hmm. the whole process for them. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> so and, well, uh, kind of, Oh, go ahead, Alex. Yeah. No, I was going to say it was kind of touching on a point you said, Fred, with a mobile guy or even just somebody who's really space constrained. The base of the bottle is a square and the bottle is rectangular. So they push right up beside each other. Yeah, that's Brad's. It doesn't evil take idea. up a ton of. Like that was when you guys first released it, that was one of the things that stood out for me. I'm like, that is so cool because you could fit a lot more bottles in a space, you know, for. Yeah. Where yeah, this is kind of genius more, idea, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so and also with the refills and like as the kit, pushing that to and it's more of a an enthusiast thing or a beginner, just get more people into it, you know, to not be scared to hear hear something and use it and just have fun. So I think that that's yeah, really really neat and yeah, it's I haven't seen a bottle like that really. I don't know if ever. Um, but also too, like it's detailing. There's, you know, I've been doing it as a hobby for probably, oh, I don't know, 
12 years or so. And it's, you know, you've seen things kind of evolve, but I think this is one of the bigger things in terms of, yes. you know, evolution um, to, because I mean, concentrates have always been around, but this is just the next level. Yeah. yeah I think and, this was um, really, a, we're yeah, going for really really neat. We're putting some thought yeah. into it. Uh, you know, I don't see what other, you know, the companies they all work with can get mad at. This is completely different than what anybody mm-hmm. else is doing out there. I think it's, I think it'd be awesome if I could hang, you know, yeah. I need them a little bigger, but if they could yeah. hang here and I wouldn't have a whole, like I got gallons on top of my cabinet. I got gallons under the cabinet. It'd be cool if I just had a little drawer of uh, capsules. Yeah. You could just refill yeah. them real quick. I, I, think it's I could really see more companies wanting to reach out to use that system in collaboration with you guys. I, yeah, that's, I could really that's... see that being a thing. That's the end game. And then like the, the shipping piece of it, it's so much easier. We yeah. could throw a cartridge in a, an envelope yep. and send it through the normal mail if we really had to. Um, yeah. yeah. So that's hopefully down the road, we'll keep improving that part as well. Um, so the freezing piece gets fixed. We tested it at 20 below zero for three weeks. We tested them at 120 degrees for three weeks to make sure the, the chemicals didn't separate or the colors didn't break down or whatever it is they they went through a myriad of tests and they all passed so it was a good cool process to go through um and then the the pricing like we we wanted to price it that it's competitive with the market um but also friendly to our partners because right you know like we we do have a lot of relationships so we we want to make sure that we don't splash yeah. the market too much with mm-hmm. <laughs> with our our system that was something that we were all very conscious about that we didn't come yeah. out with a product that was undercutting or you know like stepping on too many toes so um, yeah so let's get into the first four products we got here i mean we're starting yeah. off pretty basic got the interior cleaner spray wax wireless washing glass cleaner and uh i'm assuming more definitely coming in the future but is that why y'all start off with those four, just kind of the basics, starting off real simple? Yeah, it, you know, it, we knew we didn't want to jump on the bad bandwagon of ceramic or graphene right away because we, yeah, we weren't introducing a product; we we're introducing a system. A system. So yeah. yeah, so I wanted to still give something everybody would need, no matter where you are in the detailing uh, space, but also wanted to make it very easy to understand what they were because in my head I was thinking of really cool names that I can name these things. But then at the end of the day, I was like, let's just keep it simple. Here's your glass cleaner. Here's your interior cleaner. Mm-hmm. Here's your wireless yep. wash and here's your spray wax. I think it's perfect. You can get the starter kit now. It's uh, been available for a few months now, $50. And then now you have the refill packs available as well. Good stuff going there. So uh, I had a question. I, completely forgot it uh going back to the sprayers so you know i have seen these on like target for the household items so is this like the only sprayer or are there kind of some variations of it how'd y'all come about finding the right sprayer so the sprayer has to like if you ever look underneath the the cap of the sprayer it has to be able to work properly with the um, cartridge cartridge and also the threads right on the bottle there so we you, we can't reverse this, you know, reinvent the wheel on that one. So we kind of had to go with what that was. And I was actually okay with it mm-hmm. because when I put it in my hand as a detailer, I wanted this little nubby right here. So my yeah. hand would fit in there nicely, but I also wanted these little, you know, finger trigger things here. Um, am I 100% happy with this? I'll tell you the truth, the sprayer. Right. Nah, I think I want yeah. something a little bit different, but I'm right there that with is, you. I was going to say, it does dribble yeah. a little bit, you know, but it is a pretty comfortable spray. It's better than, I'll tell you what, 80% of what we get most of the time from DJ yeah. companies. So and we, we, do have the some, game. we are hoping to have most a foam time. sprayer down the road soon enough here. Um, yeah. So we can get into that. The future of a glove box and glove box RS, RX, <laughs> if you want to get into that a little bit. <clears throat> yeah. Um, for glove box, we're going to keep, you know, surprising and delighting every month. That's not going to change. We're going to keep going just like we are now with the takeover boxes. And, you know, um, we were kicking the idea around of like a pro box quarterly, you know, a bigger box where you could get lights and possibly polishers. And, you know, I just need 
I just need more information for that because if somebody, you know, what size polisher are they using rotary? Are they using DA? It's that, yeah. then that's going to determine what kind of pad I make sure that they have or what kind of polish or compound. Um, yeah. So I just need to know more information before we got into that from the end user. Um, so yeah, glove box, we're going to keep pushing forward with that um, for glove box RX. Um, absolutely. There is more products coming. Mm. Um, and this might, you might not believe me on this one, but, even though this was so innovative to the car uh, detailing world, um, I have to give credit to Fred for this next um, idea that's coming out. I can't say what it is, but it's going to be another game changer that is completely different from the cartridges um, that you don't see in the car detailing world. Um, but we are working on that. There's, there's still tons of steps to go through, but we're hoping to bring that to market by the end of this year or early 23. Yeah, we've got nice. a lot to R and D, and you know, like it's just a long process. Uh, long another, process. another question. I can I was only imagine. Ask, <laughs> yeah, I can only imagine. But uh, another question I was going to ask, I remember it now. Uh, does your chemist have one scent? Why are they all scented the same? That, that was <laughs> simple. We wanted it simple just and simple, and yeah. clean, and I get I, it, but yeah, very, it's not my favorite. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they all smell yeah, the I, same. I think for me, whenever I go to these car shows and mm. you start talking to like a real Porsche enthusiast or a BMW enthusiast and you really get to know them and they start talking about their first car and they get into their car or they get into somebody else's BMW, I, I just bring up BMW and Porsche the most because I hear it a lot with these cars. And they're like, there's just that smell that reminds me of this. And I was like, mm -hmm. hmm, maybe I'll do everything in our line to smell the same. So hopefully my grandchildren one day someone will bring up gbrx and be like that kind of smells like gbrx that's the so glove box of, scent right I yeah see. clean scent but we, okay. yeah not not everybody's um nostrils are gonna like it so we might have to but switch things up we've kind of been trained through the detailing industry that you know our spray wax will smell like this and then you get in a rhythm yeah. and then you just get used to smelling those smells at certain points of the detail so it, it's a little weird smelling the same thing you know through uh, <laughs> using the four products yeah. yeah. And I then, well, and one thing I did to just to make sure that, you know, people can differentiate between all the products. Um, mm -hmm. If you're not, um, if you're not colorblind, we did the colors to match, but we also did the towels from the rag company to yeah. match. Yeah. So yeah. whatever product it is, the color of the product and the cartridge will mm -hmm. match the color of the towel. Yeah. Yep. Fantastic. Cause then you'll have color coded bottles and then like you going back to employees, there'll be color coded system all the yes. way through the system. Yeah. So, I mean, next level stuff. Well, and I, I, I think stuff. it's, I think it's really cool too, is that the bottle transparency, you can see what product it is. You know, if someone green is grabbing the bottle, they can at least see the name of it. And, yep. you know, as much as Jamie and I love our IK labels, um, it's, yep. It's something that if you are new and you are green, you can grab a bottle. Okay, this says spray wax or this says glass cleaner. So you just know because, you know, not every product is the same color across the board. And, yeah. you know, kind of from the safety perspective, if you are in a commercial environment, at least it's it's written on the bottle without being written with a, a janky sharpie that's going to come off. And that, that label is never yeah. going to wear off or come off. For sure. And the one thing I also want to mention that Brad, when he formulated this, had friends from influencer friends and other high end detailers helping him with him. I won't mention right. names, but <laughs> wax mode. Um, but uh, they <laughs> they really put him through the paces, too, to make it all work. Um, I think the products are really good at what they do. They're simple yeah. in the way that they work, like the interior cleaner is a cleaner. It doesn't have protectants in it. It's clear because Brad was concerned yep. that anything with a dye in it could yep. potentially stain, you know, especially like a white Tesla interior. Like you don't want to yep. worry about staining someone's seats. Um, sure. It, it's safe on infotainment centers. Uh, the spray wax is a combination of different waxes. And it's, I think Brad said it once that it's kind of his final inspection type spray. Uh, yep. And I thought that was a good good point because it's it's not meant to be like a six month you know sealant right. or something it's it's for that yeah. final wipe and um inspection mm -hmm. that he does really well mm -hmm. by saying that right Brett. um oh yeah 
And then like the glass cleaner is safe for tents, screens, you know, like yeah. it, it's blue like the ocean. That was, you know, Brad's inspiration behind that. And then the wireless wash, again, no protectant. It's got polymers in it and it's safe for um, using on, I mean, Fab used it on his truck that was covered in road salt. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, wireless wash is a great pre-treatment for them uh, door jams. I've been using it. Oh yeah, for sure. They're great. Yep. Nice. But uh, chat, if you got any questions, now's the time to drop it. We got about a couple minutes left in the show. If anybody got any questions, go ahead and hit us with it while we have Brad and Fred on. But other than that, it's been a fantastic conversation, guys. Like I say, I think Glovebox, Inventive with the subscription service to get into the detailing brands, and then Glovebox RX just keep doing I think from doing us, the question stuff. I have is what, what brands or or products would people want to see in we'll global and yeah. also in our own line like what would they be interested in that's yep. the stuff we're always you know trying to find out so well i know we always need a good wheel and tire cleaner got to get yep. that one rolling we need a polymer spray sealant i think is this one polymer it's a mix of polymer it's, and it's a mix right? and carnuba yeah yeah so we need a need a a strong, strong spray sealant, I guess, you know, the three month range, whatever yeah. people like about that. Okay. What we got here? No questions here. Well, <laughs> we have a no questions chat. Hey, that, kind that's, of okay. Week, so. that's okay. Yep, it's perfectly yeah, fine, yeah. chat. I'm glad you're here. I always, I'm I, always uh, laughing, laughing to myself when I'm we, we ended on the waterless wash, mm -hmm. like, when I'm filling it up with water and it's called waterless wash, you know, like, cause a lot of times I'm, I'm like, that, that would always be like a really good video. I'd like to see is like people really explain traditional wash, rinseless wash, and then waterless wash, even though it's a waterless wash, um, mm -hmm. you still got to put water in it. Right. Yeah, so for sure. I just always think that's kind of funny, but yeah, as you, as you can see, I use the heck out of these things. Mm. Yeah. I go through these all the time. I guess uh, another detailing. topic is um, I know. Sorry, Jamie. I know with mine because I yeah. I just used it last weekend, which was it was awesome. I loved the system. Um, I used distilled water, mixing it with mine because um, mm -hmm. I know yeah. our tap water is pretty hard. So, do you guys normally recommend using distilled for, for I that, or do. have you yeah, have I you heard anybody do. have adverse reactions? Um, uh, we, we tested it with every kind of water source. Um, sure. I think the only yeah. one that's kind of rough is well water. That one's kind of, yeah. yeah, you know, but yeah, uh, we've tested with tap bottle distilled. I always use distilled just cause that's yeah. my habit, but, uh, Brad's yeah. tested it with everything too and never really had any issues. That's good. <clears throat> I literally yep. tested it with pond water. I'm not even kidding. Like <laughs> nice. by my house just to see Yeah. This is yep. it did the color oh, was different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I could have gives it a good greenish tint. Yeah. I have I have one extra finger now for some reason after using yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> um and then the other thing is the the shelf life of the our product. They say it's two to three years in the cartridges. So I mean Yeah, that's and they, like it could be longer. We just haven't had it that long yet. So we don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and I like tremendous. it. I could throw one in my car in the in the glove box or in like the under trunk, like you know, compartment. Keep a an empty bottle and the cartridge or two in there, and then you just need water. So if you're on a mm -hmm. road trip or a family trip, it's easy to wipe bugs yeah, off, yep. or if kids spill something, you could just take care of it. Yeah, it's another good point. Like right after a summer, I usually throw away like half my cabinet because it gets you know hundred. 10, probably 120 in this garage and then you go where do we're up mm -hmm. there and you know stuff's freezing and then you gotta throw out that cabinet so having the cartridges once again yeah that was a problem so i like it ryan here says a water-based tire shine definitely need anything water-based we'll be able to do yep, yep, yep uh, that, you know that's if that's it's right an oil-based product where you know we won't be able to do but anything yeah. water-based we we think we can do and um, Brad's working on two, three, or four products at once right now, so I don't know what um, <laughs> when those will come. But mm -hmm. um, supply chains are kind of messy right now. All our products are made here in the states. Our bottles are made here in the states, um, so we don't have to worry about like shipping from Asia or Europe sure. or anything. But um, right, 
it just takes time for formulations and testing and um mm-hmm. you know it's it's a everyone wants to run but it's more of a walk process sometimes crawl yeah. oh yeah <laughs> so yeah i, I think uh, you are doing I, it right so i did throw some comments. of the through james code and my code in there too but just to remind everyone watching now and hopefully before um I think Love Box is going to be awesome for Father's Day. Um, you know, yep. just to either get it as a gift for a father or a father-in-law or just even a friend. I think it's, I think it's such a great platform, especially with the uh, the GBRX stuff. To if you have a friend who's kind of into detailing but doesn't want to take the deep dive into a bunch of products, um, it's a great starting point. Yeah, and Brad, I think you even that stuff is. I think that stuff is so up. much better. Yeah. Um, uh, the special coming up for Father's Day? Yeah, I'll put you on the spot. Um, sure. <laughs> put me on the spot. Um, <laughs> it's coming up. We couldn't forget. Yeah, yeah. If you buy a GBRX system, the starter kit, you also get a free pass box. Um, so our pass boxes, you know, retail um, through us is around $35, but it always has a value of $50 and up. So very, you're going to get cool. that free. So if you want to keep it to yourself or give it to your father figure in your life, along with the GBRX, you can do that. And just to, um, speaking of Father's Day, that was one of the things going through my head when we produced these cartridges was my kids wanting to help me wash the car. But one of the mm-hmm. times they were pouring the wheel and tire cleaner in there and my daughter thought her hand got really dry. Yeah. So, so I was like, well, now she could just drop the cartridge in there and she won't get yep. that harsh chemical on yep. her hand. Exactly. Yeah, but I'm always still my two year old will come out and play with the puddles after I'm like, no, nope, keep them away from the puddles. <laughs> yeah. Let's, yeah. let's not do that. I know it's all That's mixed really in there. Good. But all right. Well, I guess we'll start wrapping up. We're about closing in on an hour. Do we do we yeah, got stuff sure. to do? So we got to get him out of here. I know y'all just yep. got stuff to do as well. It's started so, on the weekend. Uh, <laughs> yep. So uh Fred and Brad, you know who I guess Fred, plug uh give us all the plugs for Glove Box. Sure. Um I'll put my my email um in the chat so if anyone needs anything they can reach out to me um the may box wrapped up this month with 3d products next month started shipping out today uh i think everyone will be super happy with what's coming in june should i say what's coming in june brad or keep my mouth shut i don't know man Okay, I'll give you. Oh, no, hey, hey, Jamie, here. Alex, do you? I mean, it's up to them. We've worked with hey, this brand before, it. and it is named after an element. That's my only hints that there I will give. Go. I will not That's answer the questions yep. on that hint. Yep. Like Everybody has to figure it out. In April, I, 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 like. I saw an ass. I gave the hint. Well, it's a multi-dimensional company, 3D. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. You know. <laughs> so Love those it. Those are my loose hints. Uh, it's got some, like uh, a, we have some <clears> smart viewers, so. Yeah, seventy dollars plus value this coming month. So you should get a lot for your nice. money, almost double what, a little bit more than double what the the subscription is. And if you use one of your gentleman's codes, it's twenty eight dollars yes. plus shipping. So it's really, really affordable. Oh, nice. at there yeah. you go. You can follow Glovebox at Glovebox Detail. Go give them a follow. Have y'all have a YouTube channel? We do. Okay, go follow them on YouTube. Yeah, we do our unboxing videos there every month with Brad, and uh, there you go. Gives all his Got to like, and subscribe, and hit the bell. Yep, That's all right. the things, all things glove box detail. Go check them out. You can follow mm-hmm. Bucky at, at Alex Dewar at Bucky V W. He's there doing stuff. He's on the top supplies, always uh reviewing some yep. towels and stuff. Follow <laughs> me at Jamie the Cleaner. Go subscribe to our podcast on Anchor, Spotify, or Apple. We're on all the platforms. Just about subscribe, rate, and review. Give this video a like if you're still here. We appreciate you. And uh, we'll be back next week with PNS. So it's going to be a good show next week as uh, Sydney and Kyle phone in from, uh, what is it, the Southern Detailers Conference next week? Mm-hmm. I believe that's it. Sweet. Yeah. So that's going to be awesome. But uh, Glove Box, promo code Jamie, 20% off your first box. That wraps this one up. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Thank you, Brad and Fred. Thank you, Mr. Thank Dewar, you for guys for having us Thank you very much, guys. No problem. Great company doing great things. Go subscribe. All that good stuff. We'll see y'all next week. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.